Ja, ma. Yeah, see, they're not even making noise, and I, I'm just saying ha, ma. Um. Yeah. I have zombie time. And see, now that I know... that the zombies will... not cross the minecart. And if I put a block there, they will. Mr. Zombie. I gotta make some arrows. I gotta finish the village. Ow! Oh. Not paying attention. Go get him, zombie. Go. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Don't hit the zombie. Okay. Ow. So, let's park the zombie in the zombie. But Scared him. You know what? It looks like the zombie is one block too low. Because they are not afraid of the zombie. Hey. Oh, that's okay. Uh, that's not good. No, 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 no. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, these guys should be afraid. I mean, that was not on purpose, but... At least they're not getting attacked by the zombie. Which it must be because the, the zombie isn't at head level, is what it must be. But that's okay. He's gonna slap the crap out of me as I try to get in here. It's not your fault, zombie. That means I have to redo this whole thing. But up by like two blocks. At least up by one block. Okay. Because this should be on the, the same head level. Yeah, it is. And I, had, I said that in a previous video. Let me check something. Hold on. Hey. Yep, and now it's acting weird. Oh, there we go. And now the test of will the zombie burn with the three block wide sunroof. And it looks like he's fine. And I gotta go make more jack-o'-lanterns because that golem killed the crap out of me. The nice part is I don't have to worry about matching the pattern or designing the pattern as I'm building the pattern. <clears throat> I could just run the length of everything and just, you know, wood, wood, pumpkin, wood, pumpkin, wood, pumpkin, like.
the ha of the ma. But I am gonna need some pumpkins. Well, the zombie seems fine. He's not burning. That's good. Uh, do I have any of those jack o' lanterns down here? I think I had that whole stick sack of 64 in my inventory when I got wasted by the freaking golem. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. No. Oh, that's all right. Let me just head over to the uh, portal over there.
zombie might be able to hit these guys. So, here we go. Let's see if this works. Yeah, they're scared. See any golems spawning? I don't see the zombie hitting anything. You know, it must be that the spawn pads aren't close enough for them to spawn, uh... Ah! Jeez! Oh wait, there we go. You know, you might be going too fast. Which, I knew at some point I was going to need to block off the, uh, where it's, I think it's in the center here. Almost fell off.
He was going for my zombie. I guess I would have to replace some of the minecart track with less, with like regular minecart track to make him not go quite as fast. See, I, I never anticipated him getting stuck here like this. I mean, they are afraid. So they see the zombie. And I know that... Hmm. Is it the gossip thing that's happening? Like, because they can all see each other and one of them spawned a golem? Is that how... Well, I mean, that must have a range to it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, let me switch it to daytime. Oh, I can't sleep here because of the zombie that's still down there. Up oh, here comes the zombie. You know, it's probably because... I mean, the wiki page that I read, the second one said that it's within a 17 block area on the y-axis. And I don't think that's 17 blocks. I mean, it might be. I mean, I just really didn't anticipate it being 17 blocks. Which is probably what it is. Oh, plus, well, those guys down there spawned to go along. Are they not being scared for long enough? gotta be out of range is what it is ah man I bet that's what it is so these guys are like what I want to Let's say 103, or at least 102. So from down here, I don't expect him to be in range down here, but like, so 102 minus 95, it's only seven blocks. So they should be within range. to spawn golems. Maybe they're not being scared for long enough? Which means I have to put the zombie back in the zombie hole.
And I've seen different values on different wiki pages, so I don't know which one is right. I mean, the 17 by 17 by 17 might be wrong. So I think it's the 16 by 6 by 4 by 16. So let me see what block this is. It's 102. So if it's got to be 4, 102 minus, what is this, 99. This is three blocks. I mean, I could just build spawn pads higher. I mean, I would have to rebuild these, but it's not really that big a deal. I mean, to get the, the whole thing working. I mean, should I build a new one? I mean, I should probably build a new one. Aha! Mm -ha. And I can find a way to make this work. Like I could just put a central drop area on this level and remove the drop area on this side. Because there's not going to be a way for me to Easily put a spawn pad there. And I mean, I could leave the bottom section the way that it is, but if I step up the bottom piece, and I still don't know where my uh, leather boots are that give me death strider don't think i lost those i just think i put them someplace where i don't remember where i put them i uh, don't well, let me deposit the stuff that i know that i'm gonna need up here bring more stuff up here. I need another water bucket. should have checked like I thought that it was within the 17 blocks 
because one of the values was 17 by 17 by 17 as far as the golem uh, spawn check goes and I was like that doesn't match up to the 16 by 4 by 16 Where did I put those? Enchanted leather boots. I don't think I lost them. I don't think they got broken. They might be over by the village, maybe? I checked all the boxes on the... Uh... Must be over at the village. Not in here. No. I don't think they would be at the farm. at the farm. I don't remember losing them. I mean, the last time I had them was a long time ago. Crap. The only place I haven't checked is the farm. I must have lost them. I mean, where else could they be? Jeez. I might be overlooking though. They may have gotten placed in a box by mistake. Don't remember dying with them. I know they didn't get destroyed. I hear that. come back here for. I think I need wood. Which as we're not having a diamond pickaxe or a diamond axe really kind of hurts a little bit to not have a enchanted diamond pickaxe. Which I think I'm just gonna make it cheesy uh, 
Brand new iron axe. That cow just flew by like that uh, movie twister and we got cows.
Hmm. Ah. I'm just going to leave that top layer for now because I don't want to collect the leaves and I don't want to waste the saplings. I mean, I'm also going to have to leave a little bit of wood there. I mean, and it's going to be wood that's going to be hard to get because normally I chop up like one or two blocks and chop all the blocks out on the top first, which makes it a lot easier. But I don't want to waste those saplings. So I got my axe relatively decent and since it's iron I could just prepare it with as much iron as I need to. It's got to be the four blocks is the only thing that I could think of. The only other thing is that the zombie isn't being in the area long enough to scare them long enough, but they, I think that they just don't have a valid spawn block is what it is. Is there anything else I'm forgetting besides wood? No, I mean, I can't think of anything.
Yeah, I'm a little frustrated. But... Not a big deal. Oh, I forgot the bucket again. So this will allow an iron golem to spawn. This I can probably just pick up. I mean, I don't want to remove that portion, but I mean, it doesn't make sense to keep it. So six blocks this way. Six, seven. That would be eight. So this one has to go down by a lot. And that would still be within the four block range. And so that's six, seven. And then eight blocks this way, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, that would be eight. You know what? As soon as I put the blocks there, ta da! Yeah. 
Not really a big deal. Not happy about it, but I mean, it is my own fault for. Well, I, it's. I guess not checking better before I built it. But I have never built one before, so. You know, I could probably leave that minecart just the way it is, and the water would go out around it because the golems wouldn't be able to get up top and they would spawn. I would lose some spawn area, but I wouldn't have to change anything. But see, that's that's potentially a problem. Is it now interferes with where these guys in the center can spawn? As I say, it, it like well, I mean, not really, because it'll still spawn them. They'll just spawn with their head in a block. That actually kind of works to my advantage because it'll still collect it. Well, no, the reason that it spawned it there is because there's an air block within the... So... This part I don't need, but I can't raise it up anymore because... I'm already within the three blocks of this, the top there. Well, I guess what I could do, which I've never done it before, is if I put a sign here, What's up there, pig man? You gonna come come try to attack me? Come on. Oh, he's not going to.
cause a problem if I did that. The thing that I wanted to try was if I go eight blocks and then leave a space and then put more signs around this thing like the other thing, like this here, which I could probably, oops, remove this. I love the auto collector. Uh, ma. Yeah, see these guys could get some uh they could do with some food. I don't have any food on me. This zombie is still there. I thought I would have had to put a name tag on it. I mean, I, with what I'm gonna do, I could probably just rebuild that minecart like that. This part is unnecessary because I have to build this now. But I've already built it, and rather than mess with it, I'm just gonna leave it. The ha ma. Yeah, I'm gonna need a crap load of signs. I don't have any signs on me. No. I don't think I've got any signs down there. I do. I don't think I have any signs back at the house.
I mean, he likes me, really. Meow, meow. Did I get the stuff that I... Oh, I didn't come down here to get anything. I fell off. The idea that I had is if I put water blocks down the center and it just flushes them sideways. And if I stop like at the eighth block here, uh, but then it's not going to be an even pattern that way. trying to get that zombie the good part is they haven't spawned anywhere where I don't want them to spawn not yet anyway
And the other thing that I was gonna do was I'm, I am gonna still need the signs going this way. The thing that I wanted to try is if I put a sign here, will it block water? Or does it have to be like a fixed sign to the wall? No, it'll block water. And the golem is two blocks wide, so... So, one, two, three... I mean that does keep it, it does keep the golem in the area longer though. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to lose some spawn area, but if I just do this, because it should be, what, close to even on the center? It should be the center. Yeah, it is the center. I mean, they're not going to try to spawn in here. I mean, can I make this out of half block bottom? No, it's gonna have to be a half block top. Oh, well, there's gonna go a crap load of signs. Plus the water is gonna flood. Well, let me pick the water up then. If I just put the water going off to the side.
<laughs> Just do it from the center. They'll spawn where they're able to spawn. And then get pushed off down the drop down that drops them away from the spawn area faster. Because the longer the, the spawn area is, is the longer that they're in the area where they spawn. And I think I'm going to remove this bottom piece. While I'm thinking about it.
Yeah, a little bit, a uh, little bit overkill. The oh, there we go. Nice. Derp, derp, derp. And since these platforms are all ten blocks apart from each other, well, roughly, I could start from the center and just rebuild this thing. But instead of this solid block, I could just put the water source block down the middle. And I probably don't even have to worry about the water overflowing anything because... I could probably just do it without signs. But no, the thing looking at the sides, I mean the other side I can do like that, but under the center on that part. But the side piece over here. I'm gonna raise it up like this level and then drop it down by one. Oh wait. Mm. No, that won't work either. But just build this flat piece like this and just put the water flowing off to the sides, it should be fine. Because if I try to drop it down by one and then drop it down by one, it's going to intersect with this whole section for these guys in the center to spawn their golem in here. Yeah, ma. Kind of having a brain fart as to what I should do next. Well, I should probably do the same thing, but start from this center block over here. Well, I mean, all of this section, I don't need to build this section, I just need to build an 8, an 8 by 8 from the center from here. Because so I know that's 7, and I know this is 8. So if I just build a platform that goes from here, and then from the center out by 8 blocks, okay. Because this part I don't really need. But I didn't know that when I designed it initially, so... So, one, two, three...
One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, you know, if I just put the water block on the side, like I was gonna do, and just measure eight blocks out this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A water source block from here will only go to seven. And I'll lose one block, but again, I'm kind of at the point where it's like, whatever. But now I know all this stuff for the next one that I design. Like... I mean, I'm still having fun, but I'm kind of at the point where I kind of just want to go do other stuff. <clears throat> I mean, I will probably still have to put signs here. And I'm out of wood. Just chop down the whole thing before I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I think I'm just gonna burn it down. Is what I think that I'm thinking right now. This is far enough away from my cows. I will chop up the birch trees. These are the tallest birch trees I think I've ever seen. I didn't know they added tall variants. No. 
the moo moo. We saw. Well, some of this I could probably get out of here. I'm gonna end up setting myself on fire. We saw. Yeah, still working on your name tag there, we saw. Jeez.
Kyle. Maybe this is what I was doing when I got killed by a tree. <coughs> <coughs>
Derp herp, derpy herp, derp herp. Is this right? Well, I mean, why is he just sitting over there? Oh, that's why.
Yeah, it should have put these side ones aligned with over here. Like right on this block. Then come over this way, and then this whole section could just... Hmm. Well, it's gonna be less efficient, and I could always change it later. But... Right now, I'm leaving it. I mean, it's not really that much to rebuild. And it's not that difficult to try to get the villagers out of it either. But for right now, I think I'm going to leave it just to test to see how it works. Derp, 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 derp. <laughs> That's my saw right there.
Yeah, somewhat inefficient. They're not perfectly centered with an 8x8 pad. And these are too close and they're overlapping. And this section is going to be missing. So if I started the 8x8 pad this way, and then I would have to expand this wall and expand that wall for this collection area. But I'm really not losing that many blocks. I mean, I am losing a lot of blocks as far as perfect efficiency goes. But for this test run, I mean, eh, it's been a learning experience. I mean, I, I can say that. Like, Derp, derp. <laughs> Oh, right. 
You know, I don't even need these here because this whole thing... Why would I do that? Well, I do need that here. It might be flowing on my lava down there. Should be able to get back up. Cool. And I'm out of signs. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I think it flowed on my lava. Oops. Yeah, see the problem with that is there's no drop down over here. Which it means I guess I would have to make a drop down. So as long as you center one of these underneath this pad, this is the design that I need to do. And then if I replicate that design over here, I mean, and trying to do it this way is more difficult than trying to not do it that way. So if I put this one on the same x-axis, I think this is x, on the same axis as this one, centered, but to where I could have a pad like this, I mean, it's not that, it wouldn't be that difficult to expand it that far, but I would have to expand the whole outside of the thing for that.
So basically you have a spawn pad every 16 blocks. Is pretty much how that works out. I mean, it's still gonna generate more golems than it did. But is it going to be 100% efficient until I change it? No. But now I know for previous, uh, or yeah, previous for later incarnations of my iron golem farm. And this really isn't that far off. It's a few minor adjustments to where the placements are. Expand the outside by a few blocks. I've already got the majority of everything all set up, like the collector system on the bottom, which was supposed to be just spawn pads. Hmm. How did you get out of here?
Derp, derp, derp. I'm thinking I'm going to take a break though. Been going for quite a while and I need to make like a sandwich or something. test though is I just want to see if on the pads that I've built will they spawn a golem with the zombie going around as fast as he's going around Some signs in here right now Well, it is scary now. You're gonna come by and slap me. But because this is within 16 blocks, it's not going to, uh, spawn of golem here of course I missed Where's my other water bucket? No! Ah, oh, crap. Well, I can just grab them from here. There we go.
Oh yeah, this is gonna crank out more golems for sure. Already cranking out more golems. Because whatever one it can spawn one at, based on whenever they spawned one, it's gonna spawn one. And they're definitely scared long enough to spawn a golem. Yeah. Which this is more of a nightmare than if I just space this platform properly based on the eight blocks in each direction that they could spawn it. And then centered it from here, which I mean, ideally I do want to do that before I finish the whole thing like this. then again if I just finish it the way that it is now it'll work fine and this I've never tried this before this works and it would only take a few modifications after I get it built this way it would only take a few few modifications to do that that way And I mean, I'm already way past whatever amount of iron it generates. It's just, I have to wait for the trees and I have to chop down the trees and I don't feel like chopping down the trees. And I kind of want to get something to eat. And everything else is right. I just need to relocate the, or the villager pads. Which, not really a big deal. I mean, I could store them all in the ring down the bottom. But, oh yeah, it's definitely already faster. And the zombie does scare him long enough to generate a golem. Freaking awesome. But I'm not doing it on this video. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. Derp, 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 derp.
But yeah, I'm going to the video here. I need a break. Not even sure. Like, I'm just gonna leave the zombie on to see if anything breaks. And I mean, with him going around in a circle, it should give them enough time to count as having slept, so I could just leave the zombie going the whole time. So long as it hits nighttime and they get in the bed. And yeah, I just expand the sides out a little bit, recenter the. Like, I can leave this pad the same. But the ones on the corners need to be brought out a little more, like out and farther this way. And since I've got signs stopping stuff, like it doesn't have to be exactly 8 or exactly 7 for the water to flow. I mean, it's already just so much more iron just from the guys in the center. Yeah, it works and it makes me real happy. All right, well, it should be nighttime. They should be in the bed. And I'm not gonna AFK because that box is gonna get over full. And I kinda need the box in the bottom, not for iron so much anymore as I need it for um collecting stuff that I accidentally dropped in the thing. But yeah, no luck. Right in there. It came from space. Space! Alright, thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. I'm clicking the button right now.